enthusiasm, guys. Good news is you can get fit at home with the latest trend. Everyone from Kate Hudson to Ellen are doing it. And here to tell us all about the Peloton craze is lovely instructor Ali Love. Give her some love. Thank you. It's not a real name because you should just go straight to Hollywood with that. It is a real name. I get that often. They're like, did you have, did you create a stage name? I'm like, what stage am I on? I'm, I'm on a bike right now. <laughs> so it is. Allie Love is my real name. It's beautiful. Um, okay. And so is Peloton. So I'm starting to hear a lot more about it. People purchasing these bikes. You put them in your living room, in your space, or your basement. You've got your own monitor. How is this different than how we've done fitness in the past? So this is the perfect hybrid of technology, media, and fitness. Mm -hmm. And it's in the convenience, like you said, of your own home. So one of the things I think most people have is we hate kind of like getting up, going to the gym. Sometimes you feel uncomfortable if it's in the new year and it's like, hey, it's the new year, same me, but I just want to be stronger. I don't want to kind of drag myself to the gym. Peloton gives you the luxury of having it in your home, the comfort of having it in your home. And it has something that's really, I think it's my favorite part of it, the community. You're able to see people live on at the same time you're riding and like you're able to engage and high five them and build that community and feel a part of something while you're at home. I want I want you to talk a little bit about how you as an instructor might be able to speak to people that are doing this class regardless of where they live in the world. So that's the thing is this is a global piece of equipment right now. Mm -hmm. So anytime you get on, whether it's content that's on demand or it's content that is actually going on live, I can see those people when we are live and I know they're there and I yeah. absolutely am so inspired and I love Peloton that we've been able to build this community. Whether you're celebrating a milestone like a birthday, I can see that. Whether you're celebrating a milestone like- You can see that? I can see that because okay. you put your information in and, it, and this beautiful software does what it does yeah. and it shows your birthday. And then it shows maybe if you're celebrating a 50th ride or a thousandth ride. And wow. we're able to all champion that. And yeah. it's the fact that the community is so diverse and they're actually present there with you. Even though you're alone, yeah. you never feel alone because there's a community riding with you at the same time. So it's sort of like picking your own fitness experience like you can basically pick the length of the ride you want yes the sort of program you want to do the sort of music you want to hear am I right yes you can filter by all of those things and what is the what is the the least amount of work you can do versus the most amount of work you can do are we trying to do the least amount of work? I'm just wondering <laughs> just, just out of curiosity <laughs> what's the shortest ride possible so we offer content from 10 minutes to 90 minutes but I think the shortest okay. ride right now is about 15 minutes got so it. that is a 15 minute ride you can and I and 15 and 20 minutes I always say ain't nobody got time for that ride that's what I branded that <laughs> it's like you get up and you're like ooh I really ain't got time for nothing else but this ride. Yes. And so you're able to do that. Now, if you're looking and you're a weekend warrior and you want to go ahead and get that 90 minute there, it's an option. Okay. And the thing is, like, it's not wherever you are in your fitness journey, don't stress out. Yeah. Don't think you already have to know about cycling, that you need to be in shape before you get the bike. That's not the deal. Mm -hmm. We are a community that is inclusive. We stand for inclusivity. So when you get on whatever your training level is, yeah. I want you to know that you are more than welcome and there's something there for everyone. And there's okay. about 14 instructors. So you'll fall in love with somebody or you'll fall in love with yes. a few people and they'll have maybe the music. Their music is the same music. The way they speak, it really encourages you and motivates you. So yeah. you're connected to the community that also loves that instructor. Right. So you're, you're able to build kind of like the fitness experience you never had, but you always dreamed of. And we're talking 45 live streams a day in terms of classes. So if you are, you know, if you got a baby, I know when I had my babies, I was, I was exercising in my basement on the treadmill. You can do that at three in the morning. You can see whatever's live streaming. You can do one of those workouts or you can go on demand. Yes and take whatever workout you want, um, pick and choose whenever it's convenient for you. And that's the thing, keyword convenient. I think it's probably gonna spread. Is There's gonna be more and more things you can do on the bike, but for now, yes. why don't you give us a little sample of if you if you key into an Alley Love program yes. uh, or a ride, what you might get. Okay, so basically we start with a warm up. So go ahead, take your resistance, which is controlled by that knob. Yep. And we're all clipped in already, just so you guys know. We're clipped in 20 to about 30 on resistance. So turn that knob to the right until you find about 20 or 30. And this is your flat road. This is something that we'd warm up on. Yep. You're catered somewhere, I would say, 85 to about 95. If you get a little slower when you start, that's okay. okay. No stress. So just start to pedal, relax your shoulders. Now this is your warm up. And usually we do this anywhere, depending on how long the ride is, anywhere yep. from about three minutes minutes to 10 to 12 minutes just okay. depending on the length of the ride and then you're here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna really get in the ride I always say after the warm-up I'm like let's now I'm gonna stop using my babysitter voice uh -oh. and really get after it uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna boss up now so I want you to slow your legs down so slow your leg speed 
everybody down into the 60s. We're going to take it into a hill. This is a climb. Uh-oh. So take your resistance. Don't be scared, Tracy. Don't okay. Scared. I'm I got you, you girl. I got you. <laughs> take your resistance somewhere 45 to about 55. Now, okay. your cadence is slow enough, so you're able to handle that heavy resistance. You're not going too fast. And now 45 makes it a hill because what we're going to do is we're going to come out of the saddle next. Okay. You're going to put your hands in third position, keep your hips back, engage your core, glutes, and your quads. All yep. right? So in five, in four, in three, in two. Let's take it up right here. Now keeping that cadence in the, okay, girlfriend. I'm you here. Better, you better get it. I'm with you. <laughs> so this is a hill. Now you're, you're climbing. Yeah. What ends up happening is in the beginning, it seems easy, but the thing it is. It doesn't we, seem easy, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We may hold this for three minutes, or we may hold this for 12 minutes. You for never... 12? Yes. Okay. We're being a boss out here. You know what That's it is? That's right. Okay. So we're going to take this back. It. You hear the music going, oh. and Allie's talking to you in her boss lady voice, <laughs> and you're feeling good, right? You're sweating. You know, your kitchen's just over there. Yes. <laughs> right? Your kids are like, you're like, your you're kids are there. Kid. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> so we're going to hit a flat road to recover. Active okay. recovery in five, four, three, two. Take it back into the saddle. Now take off your resistance. Okay. Back to that 20 to 30. And then take your leg speed back up to somewhere around 75 to 85. Now focus on your inhales, your exhales, relaxing your upper body, getting yourself back. Where do I find the my leg speed? Is that cadence? So cadence is your leg speed. Oh, okay. Simply how quickly or slowly you're pedaling. Yeah. Resistance is your road. That's what yeah. you were playing with, manipulating. And then there's a number of output. Now all of these metrics can be used in any particular ride. You can right. use all these metrics in one ride, or a ride can be dedicated to certain things. Cadence, I like to ride to the beat of music, right. so I'm always just like vibing. <laughs> okay, so what is your, if I would, were to go to your playlist, your favorite rides, what would be yours? Like what kind of jam do you want to hear? My, I would say my top three rides, I love pop rides. Yeah. I love country rides, yeah. and I love hip hop rides. Nice. Those are, that's like the meat and potatoes for me. Okay, you know what, I, I could get hooked on this. This is very good.